interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And if those are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. On Tuesdays, I publish a blog post. On Wednesdays, a newsletter. And on Thursdays, a new YouTube video. And I also have a free five-day email course. It's titled, Five Days to an Organized Life at Home. So if you're interested in registering for that course, please find the description and the find the information in the description box below. So on this video, I want to go over some of the reasons your Pinterest project fails. So when you look online and you see these Pinterest projects, they look so easy and so fun, but there's basically five reasons why they fail. Number one, many of these projects appear more easier than they actually are. You'll see a sheet or a printout and it tells you, you know, what to do. These are the ingredients or these are the directions and also the items that you need. And it looks easy, but when you actually try to complete the project, it turns into a failure and then you're ended up with a hot mess. So don't feel bad about it. It's just not as easy as it looks. Number two. Some of the projects are actually completed by professionals. Yes, don't be discouraged. Don't feel like you did something wrong. You may not be a professional. So even though the project says do it yourself, it's actually done by a professional. So your outcome is not going to be the same as a professional's outcome. So don't feel bad. Number three, all projects that you see on Pinterest are not Pinterest projects. A lot of these are done in factories. A lot of these are mass manufactured things that are made in like China or something. So don't think that you're a failure because you're not a programmer or a computer or on an assembly line. It wasn't meant to be. Number four, a lot of times the supplies they have listed, they're not easy to find. It's like when you see a, a recipe for a wonderful meal but you can't find the ingredients because you have to go to specialty grocery stores to get it. And that's how it is with the Pinterest projects. Sometimes you need a certain glue or a certain whatever, and you can't even find it locally. And you may have to try to find it from Amazon or order it online, and it may come in. It may be the wrong thing. So that's an, And you try to get another thing, like substitute it with something else, and it doesn't work. It's going to have a different outcome. So that's another reason why your Pinterest project may fail. Number five, it's actually sometimes less expensive to buy the completed object. I've seen that before. Sometimes I've even seen it on Etsy. They'll have like a bundle of everything. And it's like, I could just order the stuff directly from Amazon or order it from someplace else. And bam, it's, it's a completed thing. I don't have to pay someone on Etsy or try to do it myself when I can just buy the completed thing already done. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this made you feel better if you completed a Pinterest project and it failed. It's not your fault. You are meant to, <laughs> some of those projects are not meant to be completed by a regular person like, you know, you or me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and then also subscribe. Thank you very much and have a divine day. Goodbye.